Hi, welcome to Microbiology Mentor. Today, we will learn about the role of biofilms in bacterial pathogenesis. So, let's see what is a biofilm. A biofilm is defined as an aggregate of interactive bacteria attached to a solid surface or sometimes to each other encased in an exopolysaccharide matrix. The nature of the biofilm can either be a monomicrobial where it is made up of entirely one kind of microorganism or it can even be of polymicrobial where it can be of more than one type of microorganism. This biofilm is distinct from the free living microorganism where the free living microorganism do not communicate however the microorganism present in a biofilm communicate and interact through each other through a specialized process called as quorum sensing and through this quorum sensing they actually modifies the various met metabolic activities of the microorganism so let's see what are the significance of biofilm the biofilm has a extra exopolysaccharide matrix which protect them from host immune mechanisms it makes a difficult penetrating barrier for the host immune system the matrix functions as a diffusion barrier for some of the antimicrobial and the bacteria inside the biofilm shows marked resistance to antimicrobials so it is difficult to treat infection which is associated with my and biofilm formation so this is how a uh, biofilm is formed and developed here on the left hand side you can see that the sessile or planktonic microorganism getting attached to the surface where it leads to the formation of a monolayer by the production of a matrix which further get converted into multilayer and and finally uh, in a mature biofilm there is production of exopolysaccharide matrix which forms the architecture of the biofilm and from here the sessile microorganism getting detached and again forming the architecture of the biofilm through the next separate cycle so biofilm uh, plays an important uh, role in pathogenesis the presence of biofilm increases actually the pathogenesis of bacteria how the microorganism is usually getting destroyed by the external agents but this biofilm protects the cell from various assaults like ultraviolet radiation ph stress chemical exposure phagocytosis dehydration or even to the antimicrobial exposure so the microorganism inside the biofilm have resistant to the antimicrobials so the what are the resistant mechanism inside the biofilm the the resistant mechanism inside the bio, biofilm are different from those of the common drug resistant mechanisms for a microorganism like efux pump modifying enzyme and the target mutations these are actually not playing important role in the protection of microorganism inside a biofilm so they have a different entirely resistant mechanism inside it and this is actually supported by the finding that if a susceptible sessile microorganism is present and it forms a biofilm it becomes reduced susceptible or resistance to that micro to the to that antimicrobial which it is exposed to similarly from the biofilm a microorganism if dispersed and become sessile it may regain its susceptibility to a antimicrobial so what are the various drug resistance mechanism inside a biofilm there are various hypotheses which have been postulated out of which the common three are slow penetration resistant 
phenotype and altered micro environment so let's see what are these hypothesis saying the slow penetration says that the antibiotic fail to penetrate beyond the surface layer of the biofilm because of the thick and difficult architecture of the biofilm the resistant phenotype says that some of the microorganism or some of the bacteria inside the biofilm develop entirely a new type of morphotypes which are actually spores or something like that and these make the organism resistant to the drugs similarly the altered microorgan environment hypothesis says that the complexity of the biofilm makes the inner zone of the biofilm completely nutrient deficient and the accumulation of the waste product uh, leads to an entire altered micro environment may be the ph or the salt concentration are is different and which antagonizes the antimicrobial so these are the common resistant mechanisms the most common biofilm mediated infections include the cystic fibrosis and periodontitis so let's see each one by one uh, biofilm plays a important role in the cystic fibrosis case in this diagram you can see the healthy lung on the top where the normal airway is present and there is a thin layer of mucus which is supporting the airway but in case of cystic fibrosis which is harboring the microorganism which is producing the biofilm and it uh, or it damages the cells making the diffusion of the oxygen rather difficult similarly the role of biofilm in periodontitis what happens is the dental plaque which have microorganism which produce biofilm produces certain amount of acid which dissolve the enamel of the tooth which finally infect the pulp and causes periodontitis apart from that there are other biofilm mediated infections which includes various device related infections like central venous catheter infection prosthetic heart valve infections urinary catheter infections other device related infections like iucd or endocarditis apart from that osteomyelitis is another biofilm mediated infection infection in chronic wound may also be complicated by the production of the biofilm of the microorganism and rhinosinusitis with this we come to an end of the topic thank you